Kellogg. He weighed in at 120 and one half pounds. His record stands at pounds. He is undefeated in his campaign to the ring with a record of 18 wins for the WBA interim super bantamweight title. Switching from right to left hand, just like his brother Omar does. They're, they're both trained by their father, and they've been doing this dress. He's he's really got a big feather to cap, and he's going to try to for this first round. Pereira is the former WBA interim world. He's got a good straight right hand. Uh, 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 Figueroa is going to do is he's going to put that head down. In fact, he holds the copy box record no. for most punches Wait. thrown in a round one. And uh, you know this is the feeling out process, the first round. And Figueroa really started it out. Good luck put by Moreno right there. Figueroa said he has something in store. Round one here in Carson, California. Scheduled for 12 for the WBA. Hands back, hands back the Block a shot. You're right about that. He, he, he is. He's a, good, he's a very good Guerrero is showing some good right hands and they're accurate as well. Now, there's a one big difference. Uh, Omar and Figueroa's back. Yeah, yeah Brandon's uh, doing the copying too, so they're following the same process. Brass Brandon, what he's learned from his brother, he said to not be scared, to never give up, and don't leave any. Especially when, especially when he saw, when he turns, when Brandon's turning the southpaw. He's catching him in the middle. Uh, no, I, throw, I throw some uppercuts. <laughs> oh, great right by Brejo. Great counter right hand by Brejo. He stepped back up the road. Got a butt like this. Side of the head, it's another thing to hit him behind the head. And that was a little late and a little behind the head. Sometimes Let's see if it can work for him. Ooh. But he did catch two solid right hands. Brejo's last two defeats have both come in title fights. I'm ready to uh, bust open to tell you the truth. A couple of good more right hands. Hopefully, Piero comes back a little better. He hasn't really. There, he stood over uh, Figueroa and just landed a nice little body shot, but Figueroa comes back with his own up. Off the road for Piero landed. And there goes Brandon hitting behind the head again. He's got to watch. Thanks, coach. We'll hear more about it from 22 year old Brandon Figueroa from Westlake, Texas. And Figueroa came out in the beginning part of this round using a jab. I could tell his dad telling him. You what do you want to see from him more in this round? Uh, body punching and keeping his distance using his jab as good more. And holding. I don't know why he, why he needs to grab the hand. He should be working. Well, well, Referee Jerry Cantu. Full blow by Barrejo. But, you know, it's not a bad move on the inside to tie up that. And even do a little bit more pushing. And they're getting rougher with him. Yeah, yeah. Not too. They pay, oh, great left up for Cantu. By, yeah, by yeah, From Super Bantamweight title, Brandon Figueroa. And Joe's back foot, really, right now. And what I mean by on his back foot, he's, you know, retreating. And then Parejo came on very strong and landed some really good solid shots. And Brandon's corner, you got to pull away and make it obvious that you're winning every round from beginning to end. Yeah, so what he basically said is that... Dominating it since the bell rang. So if he can continue this, not let Parejo... Yeah, I think Parejo... Needs, I think he's just corner to him the wrong piece. Ten seconds. No, not just scoring, but hurting. And it's allowing Figueroa to gain a lot of confidence going into sitting in the pocket too long with this kid because he's really a bigger, stronger guy than Correa. Put a Heidi. Well, that's right, guys. His corner's chanting, You got to be quick. You got to be quick, Brandon. They want him to do get inside, turn him a little bit. Right there. Now he bumps up against him. He's going to try to twist out of there and against the ropes right now. And score some good punches. I think one hand hit him with the other. That's right. You're allowed to do that. Final minute, round six. In the earlier, in the earlier rounds, now he stopped it. Now he's, he sees what he can get in the game. He's got that, he's got that right hand. But he's only. Could run, but he's going to. Yeah, all continuing. This is round seven. How have you scored it over the first six rounds? I have it 58 to 56. Brandon Figueroa, he's fighting. All right, thanks, Marcos. So Marcos gave the first two rounds to Parejo. He's really the dominant. And um, 
look, I mean, I can... 142 punches thrown by Figueroa in round five. Closing in right now. He's throwing, you know, he's moving around really good. Throwing one punch right hands and he's throwing. Punches thrown in one round with 142. That's a lot of punches. He's averaging right around 100 per round. Somebody must have told him when he steps in. Maybe. Hold. Now, in all fairness, the last uh, 10, 15 This is round eight, scheduled for 12. So he feels he's got a better chance on the inside. Oh, you know, what you've got to do is you have to have something that hurts the kids. And if you can't, you can stop him from putting that type of hard pressure on him. What I would tell Piero is let him cut right there, right there. He should oh, here's, here's the point, Lennox. Perejo's got 11 of good fighters. He tries to take it to a decision because he's not a guy that can really do it. going for a long night right now. Yep. Brendan Figueroa.